everybody welcome back to better biomed i have a demo product here that somebody sent to me to check out and this is something i have never seen before so let's see what's in the box well, that's uh pretty small and it says it's a touchscreen multimeter. I have never seen a touchscreen multimeter before, so I'm really curious. Okay. Oh, this one's very similar to the other multimeter that I advertised um, in one of my other videos. Very similar. Okay. So you have your typical three ports, your input, your common, and your amperage. Um, I do like they put the symbols here showing that it's completely um, isolated. Of course it would be, it's battery powered. It looks like this is a flash. Looks very interesting. Alright, since it's a touch screen, it does have a screen protector. We're going to go ahead and pull that guy off. And uh, let's see what else we got. I have a thermal couple probe. Let's go ahead and undo it because my other multimeter, the thermal couple probe, is very, very accurate. It's extremely accurate because I compare it all the time to my fluke. And let's see what we have here. Okay. Now these do feel like a PVC type of uh, coating on the probes, but uh, the boots feel pretty good. And it's a softer cord for being PVC. Sometimes they're kind of rigid. It's got good strain reliefs at both ends. You guys know that that's one of the things that I check on all these meters. So this part's all rigid and then it's got a strain relief. Now if meters break, it's usually in the leads, either right here or it's down at the connector boot. But they have a very generous strain relief down at this end. I like it. And this end here actually has a little bit of a strain relief as well. Very cool. So let's go ahead and set this guy up. Um, put inputs. It does have a user's manual in common. And tell you what, let's go ahead and take a look at one of my batteries. All right, first power up. Oh, that is so cool. It actually looks really cool. See it? It says auto, so it's on auto function. And it's got the other functions down here at the bottom. Oh, very cool. Oh, the touchscreen is extremely sensitive. Okay. I do like the touchscreen. That works really good. Okay. It works a little bit better than my other multimeter because my other multimeter, it was a smart meter and you had to keep pressing the input button. And it was, it's a burden to push that button. It's really kind of annoying. But this one here, it's actually more comfortable and much quicker to uh, rotate through all the parameters. So let's take a look. I've got a 12 volt battery. It's on auto mode. Well, that's pretty quick. Pretty quick. Let's check out another one. Okay, let's do this one right here. I know I'm purposely inverting the leads, you guys. Wow, that is, that's pretty quick. Let's check resistance. We're still on auto mode. There we go. This is a 10 ohm resistor, plus or minus 1%. So it hit right on, right on 10 ohms. And the reason it's beeping like that is because in auto mode, it also is doing continuity. Yep, 
Yeah, I gotta clean these uh, meter leads off a little bit. So if you're doing continuity, I would not run the meter itself on auto mode. If you're gonna do continuity, then all you gotta do is select down here when the little screen pops up with the little uh, sound bar, then you know, continuity. Oh yeah. Very fast. Okay. So it's got a really good continuity meter. Often meters have a little bit of time in between pulses or there's a delay when they first touch. Both those things is extremely annoying. So this one here is very quick. All right, so let's see what else we got. I'm in ohms, I'm in diode mode. Okay, here's temperature. Let's go ahead and unplug this guy. I dig it, I really like this meter guys. That is pretty impressive. So here we go, I plug it in. And it says it's 79 degrees in here. You see I'm touching the thermocouple. Let's put the thermocouple on my heat sink. It's probably pretty close to accurate. The only way to really tell is to uh, check it with a calibrated thermometer, like on this guy here. But, for the price, this is such a little win. I love this little guy. Now, the light itself isn't that bright. Of course, I do have a lot of light overhead, and you can still see it. I do really like when they put multimeters that have lights. We've all worked in some dark areas, um, and it's always nice to have that light. Um, so I'll have to read up what this is, uh, NCV and live. So the reason it's not happy right now is because I have it currently connected to a thermocouple, which detects as a short. So let's see, what are the functions of this guy? Okay, here we go. So it's got AC and DC, it's got connect and disconnect, which is continuity. It's got auto range mode, which is what I showed. It's got auto shutdown. It's got low battery alarm. It's got hold state, so that's what the H is. So if you want to hold. Um, it's got volts, amps, ohms. Um, it can do hertz. So I wonder if that's a duty cycle. It can, it can take uh, frequency. It does diode mode, it does um, capacitance, it does centigrade and Fahrenheit, and it does non-contact voltage detection. That's interesting. And it does live, the line of fire test. I don't know what that one is. I'm really kind of curious about that. So non-contact voltage on other meters is when you put the meter next to something Oh, it does. Okay. So I'm just taking my meter and sticking it near a voltage source. And it does detect. Yeah. I'm just running a power cord near this. And it is showing that it's live. See? Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It detects it. Very interesting. I've never had a meter that does uh, non-contact voltage. So I think the sensor is up here at the top. Yeah. So it does non-contact voltage. I've never had a meter that did that. Very cool. Um, it's a very lightweight multimeter. And I would say that this guy here, I would find maybe a little bag for it or something and stick this in my tool bag. Uh, looks like it's pretty durable. I know the case. The case
case is really durable. So, um, guys, that is the Leo Love MT2202. And I dig this little multimeter. It's pretty cool. I would say it it's an absolute deal for the amount of features you get compared to the cost. So I will leave a link in the video description down below. You can check this meter out. It's an inexpensive option and the touchscreen works much better than I thought. Seems to be pretty good. Anyway guys, that's my little Leolov MT2202 multimeter touchscreen. I dig it. Thanks for watching guys.